Hi there, I have a nice recurrence relation problem for you, and let's see how we can solve it. So first let's gather everything that includes a n on one side. So I have 2 a n minus n, a n minus 1, being equal to 3 n factorial. And now, uh, so far we only learned the method if, when we have uh, constant coefficients. Here I have 2 and minus n, let's just say n. Uh, well, 2 is constant, but n is not a constant. It depends on the n, okay? It's literally like our uh, sequence depends on n, so n is not a constant. And if you didn't notice it so far, you could tr try to make character characteristic polynomial of it, and you would end up having 2r minus n is equal to 0. So you would have an r which is dependent on n. And you would say, my, so my solution, is it going to be a n uh, that a times n over 2 to the n. No, it doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, so we can't use this method, even if we add the particular solution, okay? So this is not valid, it, because it doesn't match the prerequisites. So instead, uh, let's try to get rid of this n factorial, and let's see what, we, what do we get. So I'm just multiplying all sides by 1 over n factorial, instead of doing this, okay? So I will have 2an over n factorial. And so I have minus n over n factorial is just going to simplify 1n's and I will be left with n minus 1 factorial. an minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial being equal to 3. And now, uh, is it better? Is it simpler? Now, if I look, I have a n over n factorial and a n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial. So if I define a second sequence, which is b n, uh, a n over n factorial, look what do we have on this side. So I have just 2 b n, and this thing is just b n minus 1. If you put n is equal to n minus 1 here, you will get this term. So this is minus b n minus 1. So this is equal to 3, and now this is linear, okay? linear. Yay, we can solve it. Okay? Yay. Uh, so now uh, we just use the same method, uh, which is called characteristic polynomials. So I will have 2r minus 1 is equal to uh, 0. So I'm just, first I'm trying to solve what, what would be the homogeneous solution. So I'm pretending like this right hand side is 0 and I'm solving it. So I have 2r minus 1, so r is just 1 over 2. So my bn, bh, is going to be equal to a times 1 over 2 to the n. I have only one root, so I only have one constant. And for the particular solution, well, I have 3 here, so we can just guess it's, it's going to be a constant. We can say b. Okay? Uh, so now my general solution of bn is going to be a times uh, 1 over 2 to the n. So let's write it like this, plus b. So to find a and b, I need uh, at least two values of b, but I don't know any because I defined it with dependent on a n, but I know the first value of a0. So let's find the second value of a0, a n2, and then we can find bn. So this is a0, and if I put n is equal to 1 on this recurrence relation, uh, I'm going to get, I'm just putting n is equal to 1, so this is going to be 5 plus 3, which is 8. And if I divide it by 2, this is going to give me 4. So I know a0 and a1. If I put n is equal to 0 here, this is going to give me just a0. So a0 is equal to b0. So b0 is equal to 5. And if I put n is equal to 1, this is going to give me just a1 over 1. So it's just, uh, again, going to be equal to b1, uh, a1, 4. Uh, but it's just a coincidence that the first two values are same for both of these uh, recurrence relations, it's not going to be the same for the next terms, okay? Uh, so, I have first two initial values, and let's substitute them here. So, if I say n is equal to 0, uh, I will have this being equal to 5. So, if I put n is equal to 0, this is going to be a plus b, 5. And if I put n is equal to 1, and let's also multiply both sides by 2, I will have a plus 2b, so this is 4, but I multiplied both sides by 2, so it's for 8. And now, so this difference is b, and this is 3, so b is 3. 
and a is going to be 2. So I solved it. My bn is equal to, uh, so I found 2 and 3. So if I put 2 and cancel it, it will be 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. And b is just 3. So that's it. I found bn. And if you remember, we defined bn as an over n factorial. So this is an over n factorial. And my task to was my task was to find what is a n. So if I just multiply all sides by n factorial, uh, I'm gonna get a n is equal to n factorial times one over two to the n minus one plus three. Yeah, it looks crazy, but this is our answer, and we can finish it here.